Oh, hi. Um, welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson is all about food. And in today's lesson, we'll look at 10 idioms, all connected to food. I promise you, today's lesson is a piece of cake. So what is an idiom? Here's a brief description of an idiom. An idiom is a group of words established by usage as having a meaning not deductible from those of the individual words. So what we mean by idioms is a group of words that together take on a new meaning. The example I gave you at the start of the lesson was a piece of cake. So a piece of cake, of course, is, is, is this. But actually, when we say something is a piece of cake, we don't mean it's a piece of cake, like a physical piece of cake. What, that wo what those words together mean is that something is very easy. A piece of somebody says to you, oh, I did my homework and it was a piece of cake. What do they mean? They mean that their homework was very easy. In today's lesson, I'm going to give you 10 common idioms that are all connected to food. Baloney. The word baloney is this. It's a type of meat. But when we use it as an idiom, we mean that something is nonsense or it's not true or not believable. For example, the politician's speech was baloney. Fishy. So a fish is this. But when we say fishy, what we mean is something is suspicious or Maybe somebody's doing something that's not honest. For example, there was something fishy about the man who was standing on the corner. The icing on the cake. The icing on the cake literally is this. But when we use the icing on the cake as an idiom, what we mean is it's the best thing, or it's something additional that's even better than what we already have. For example, he won the competition, but winning a million dollars was the icing on the cake. Butter. So this is butter. To butter someone up. What we mean by butter someone up is that we give them lots of compliments or we give them lots of praise because we want to get something from them. For example, we buttered up my mother so we could borrow her car. Cheese. This is cheese. <clears throat> but cheesy Cheesy means that something is, it's not, it's not cool or it's not fashionable. It's maybe, um, it's not very authentic. So for example, we might say, did you see that cheesy movie last night? That was terrible. Cherry. This is a cherry. But when we say cherry pick, what we mean is to choose the best from what is available. For example, that soccer team cherry picks all the best local players. A lemon. This is a lemon. When we say something is a lemon, what we mean is something that's either broken or doesn't work well. And we normally mean something mechanical or maybe some kind of appliance. Here's an example. 
this microwave is a lemon. We need to take it back to the store. Peas. These are peas. But we can use the word peas in the idiom peas in a pod. Peas in a pod means things that are very similar. We often use this with people. For example, John and Bob do everything together. They're like peas in a pod. Peanuts. Here are some peanuts. But when we use the word peanuts as an idiom, what we mean is something that's inexpensive or cheap. For example, we got this TV at a thrift store for peanuts. Beans. These are beans. But in the idiom full of beans, what we mean is to have a lot of energy or a lot of enthusiasm about something. For example, John's really excited about his new job. He goes to work every morning full of beans. Okay, well that's it for today's lesson. So, you've had 10 idioms all connected to food. And so hopefully you can go out and use these idioms and you'll be full of beans. So look forward to our next lesson. If you enjoyed today's lesson, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these lessons, please click to subscribe.